Hi, my name is Gray Pollard. Megan Schill. Sam Waller. It's Kristen Lau. I went on the France study abroad trip in May of 2019. So while in France, we saw some amazing sights, including the Eiffel Tower, um, the Louvre, Notre Dame. The Arc de Triomphe. We went to Normandy. We went to Giverny, which is the home of Monet. And something that was so cool to me was being in the same spot where he painted the White Cliffs of Normandy. We stayed in the Normandy area, um, and that was really the cool part. One of the cities was called Rouen, and there was just so much history there. And also while in France, we went to Mont Saint-Michel, which is an island that has a castle on it. And it looks like something out of like a fairy tale or out of Harry Potter or something. It's, it was crazy, this flat surface, and then in the distance you see this mountain with a castle on top of it. It looked like um, that was a very awe-inspiring sight. Like going to the Eiffel Tower, we had a picnic underneath it, which was super fun. But it was magical seeing it. I didn't expect to have that reaction, but I was like, wow, this is real life. I am eating a baguette underneath the Eiffel Tower. Crazy. Palace of Versailles was absolutely gorgeous. The, the inside was interesting, but honestly, the gardens, I, I could still go back again and just like still probably find new places because you can't cover all of it in one day, but it was absolutely gorgeous. Everything in France was delicious. The gelato, I mean, I could go on and on, seriously. Yeah, one of the stranger things I ate over there was uh, escargot. 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 Probably escargot. The texture of snails is kind of like kind of uh, gummy almost. Um, it was green, it was cool, it was on a crepe. I had a blood clot of some animal in my crepe. Um, that was interesting, I thought it tasted actually really good. good. I also had duck for the first time, which was delicious. Coolest uh, aspect of our trip was getting to work with French students. Um, our, our project was to work with them on marketing camembert cheese. We learned a lot from them, like they were still studying the same things as us, like one of the main things that we were um, doing in the classroom the first week was your typical like lecture, um, the same that we would have here. This experience really gave me the confidence that I needed to get out there and try new things. Um, actually after the trip, me and my friend went to London for a couple days and Amsterdam as well. And just having the confidence to navigate new countries and new places um, is something that I am so glad that I was able to experience. So one of the cool things that I gained out of this trip was I made a lot of lasting friendships. Um, I still talk to a lot of these guys almost daily in our group chat and um, also I, we still talk to a bunch of the French students we met in Evero all, all the time. So, And the other people that I met from the University of Akron on the trip were amazing. We all got really close and had such a good time. Although this trip is to the College of Business and has an international business focus, um, I'm not a business major and a lot of other students did not major in business who went on this trip. Um, so we had exercise science, biomedical science, engineering, all different majors. Um, but we all learned something on this trip and I, and I don't think you need to be a business major. So I definitely think students should sign up for these um, study abroad trips because it's the perfect opportunity to immerse yourself in a different culture while also getting um, knowledge that you can use towards your degree. It's such an easy way to get out there and explore the world while still staying with American students. In my opinion, you should take the chance. Um, it was the best experience of my life and I would want someone like you to experience the trip too.